This is some poetry that most everybody can relate to. It's about trailers, no matter if it's a utility trailer, a horse trailer, a cow trailer, a boat trailer, an RV, you've been there. And it's called Wires and Tires. Wires and tires on every trailer, they are the double curse. Each time you hitch one up, you fully expect the very worst. Last week, everything was fine. Now two tires are low. You walk behind the trailer and the taillights don't even glow. Your wife walks back behind to see if she can help. You holler, the left light now should be turning. She hollers back, no, but the right light seems to be burning. First you wiggle a connection, then run a wire to make a ground. Next it blows a fuse, and the short just can't be found. After working half the morning, you're finally on the road, and then it suddenly hits you. I'm two hours late to get my load. A quick glance to the mirror and notice rubber starts to fly. A guy pulls up in his Corvette and points backward as he races by. At least you have a spare tire, but to get it off you need a wrench. And then it suddenly hits you. I left it on the bench. I guess I'll try the vice grips and see what it will do. Two threads from the end, that rounded nut grabs like glue. Unhitch and go back to town. Yeah, this day's just been too hard. For a moment, you even think, I'll take it straight to the scrapyard. No matter the type of trailer, there always is a catch. Why does it always happen? The electric plugs never match. Round or flat or flat or round, the chance you should hit the 50-50 slot. But even then, it never happens. It's all a cruel plot. Thinking of the afterlife, Many things are hard to tell, but ponder this simple question. Will trailers be in heaven or will they be in hell?